Yes, I'm watching cartoons. Uh, you know I'm lazy if I'm just, if it's this guitar, the goth. This is the one I keep next to the, uh, to the couch. It's always out here. So, there you go. talk about Nam because I didn't really like I said I went down there and I was back uh, you know round trip I was back within three hours so I really just I go I was trying to look for my friend that was doing his thing but the people I went with I didn't feel like hanging out with and I couldn't ditch them so I made my way to Jackson Charvel thing so I could, you know, check out their stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I posted that J001 or J001 or whatever. And uh, I said, look, at, you know, they're going to make this. And uh, my friend said, well, a friend of mine has one or has the one. And here's the thing. So, I don't know if you saw on my Facebook or on YouTube. Just look on the YouTube. It's Mike Shannon talking about... Look look, look up Mike Shannon uh, 2001 or 2000, 2020 NAM uh, Jackson White J001. It was supposed to be a KK Downing Flying V. So, it's basically, a, you know, a little King V because they didn't have them done a king. They didn't do a king V yet. This was 82. And KK was like, you know, he had his eye on Randy. And he's like, I want to get one of those, you know. Comes in, blah, blah, orders it. Never picks it up. So a guy in the band called Malice, who's, they were basically a, <laughs> a like an American version of uh, Judas Priest. Singer was great, and he made the whole band, but everybody else was really good. The drummer was good. He actually produced and played on a couple of Fela tracks and demos. Um, I don't think I've ever put those out, but I'll have to put, I'll put it up one 
I found uh, Tonight, the first time we recorded Tonight, this song, Fatal Attraction. We did it at his house in his studio in the Hollywood Hills, right across the street from where Jim Morrison used to live. And he had a really cool uh, studio, you know, in his uh, basement. And, you know, Hollywood Hills, it was very cool. So, uh, on Cold Water, I think it was. Yes, Cold Water or Laurel Canyon. One of the two. Probably Laurel Canyon. I can't remember which one it was now. But anyway, so, yeah, he's the drummer from Malice, uh, Cliff Carruthers. So, he played on our demos. We made a few demos in his studio. We did Tonight and a couple other stupid songs. Ten, the Tonight is the only one that I can find and uh, it's the version where the guitar player used to do two guitar solos which I thought was insanely stupid but you know whatever and he agreed but we didn't know what to do I already knew what I wanted to, I wanted something done with that second part and I so I tried to get him to just not play a guitar solo and we just play the anyways getting off track malice so the guitar player Jay whatever his name is Jay Reynolds got the J001 or 001 whatever <clears throat> I don't know how many zeros are in there uh, white V he got it and then they a couple other people wanted one so the model became the J001. They made like dozens of them. And they all say J001 right where, you know, they put their serial numbers. The really good, you know, expensive, rare, early ones. And they started making them in 82. Or at least he had the template. And then I don't know if he made... I, he tells a story, Mike Shannon. Just go watch it. There's a link. Uh, no, I, there isn't a link. I'll put up a link. Anyway, so I've always wanted that guitar because I got to know the guys in Malice. And I'm like, damn, that's a cool-looking Jackson, man, because of the headstock. It's like an arrowhead. Kind of what, like what I thought, you know, Randy should have done. But, I mean, his was cool anyways with the uh, harpoon. But I always, you know, whatever. So, um... So I'm like, that's cool. That's the only cool thing that I saw. That's the only thing that I that really like, wow, I'm going to get one. Because I knew they were out there, but everybody that has one thinks they have the first one. Because they all say J0001 or 001. No, that was the model. They didn't care. In the beginning, Jackson was really loose with a lot of the stuff they did. A lot. Like when I ordered that one and I said I want polka dots everywhere and they didn't put the right inlays in. They put dot inlays instead of, you know, what they should have for a Rhodes, the, uh, the fin. So, uh, you know, you had to be very specific. But, you know, when they got it right, they got it right. Anyway, so that was the only thing that impressed me. And I got it. And to tell you the truth, I didn't walk around a lot. Um, I knew that Steve Vai was putting out his, you know, next guitar, uh, you know, gem. It's called the Pia. Really? And it looks like a gem with some different things, you know. Instead of the monkey grip, it's... Go look it up. He does a thing. There's some, there's a, like 20 clips. 22, three, two to three minute clips of his performance and I don't know why it's like that it's ridiculous but at least we got it on there or they got it on there maybe it's uh, the whole performance is on there but you know it's typical Steve I he's grown his hair back which to me is he's got to have long hair because that dude when he was moving around and he had a short haircut I'm like not cool you got the George Lynch look going 12 year old boy don't so he grew his hair back. Looks cool, Steve. I. But you know, I got the gem, and I was, you know, thinking, man, you know, I waited years to get that. 
I waited because I really didn't want it. I always thought, well, that's a Steve Vai guitar. It's just a, you know, whatever. And when I got it, I was very underwhelmed with it. I still am. <laughs> I just got it because I like Steve Vai. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, last year, the Shark guitar, the EVH Shark. That's the reason I went down there. And boy, was I disappointed. But happy because the one I have is absolutely superior to the crap that they're putting out. And they use the big hockey stick friggin' uh, for the headstock, and that looks stupid. The Kramer headstock, that's what they have to use. Otherwise, they'll get sued by Gibson, EVH Fender. So, uh, there you go. I didn't even stop. I didn't stop by Gibson. I didn't stop anywhere. I just went to Jackson, and I looked at some stuff as I was leaving, and didn't even say goodbye to the people I, you know, met up with that got me in there. My pass was right up here somewhere. Uh, meh. Anyway, so, like, you need to see the pass for NAM. That's exciting. But, uh, you know... I'm just making a quick video because this is it, you know. I'm going to be kind of busy doing the, the documentary and trying to get the songs done. So, You're right, uh, Paolo. That's uh, Stone in Love. That's what that song reminds me of. When I wrote it, I'm like, gosh, it sounds like... But it's not exact. It's not even close. It's just when you hear it, you go, oh, yeah, Stone in Love from Journey. Okay. Which is cool, that's what I was going for, the journey, a heavy journey sound. And the other song that's poppy is, uh, is, uh, uh, Long Ago and Far Away. I think I'm going to keep that title, I'm not sure. But the thing is, that song, uh, the bass line starts and it stays the same through the whole song. And the bass line carries the song. And the guitar starts off, you know, picking. I can't remember how that goes. I get those two mixed up. But, uh, so I want to do those two, but I, I gotta, I got to get the bass line. I gotta remember it and then tell it to the, my friend, because I'm going to let him play bass on that. Because it's kind of, uh, I don't know. If I play it, it'll sound too heavy, and I want it to sound... Well, I want it to sound heavy, but I want it to sound poppy, and he can do that, I'm pretty sure. If he can't, then I'll do it. But I didn't write it. Actually, my bass player, Tony, wrote the line. He was really proud of it, because that was like the second thing he's ever written. The first one was Trick or Treat. The song, I guess our theme song for the band... I hated the song, but I, I let it go because he was so happy that he actually came up with something. So, and it's really simple. They played, Rudy and Tony played that for like two hours straight because they were like coked out of their minds. And I'm like, gosh, you guys, you're idiots. Stop playing that. And they're like, no, we want to use it. So I said, okay, let me come up with a verse. And I came up with a verse and they were happy and, and unfortunately became a song. That was actually the first song Mandy wrote lyrics to. So, I'm like, really? 
that's the one you want to start with? Okay. Mandy. Brain no have. So, uh, the other... <laughs> Tony was playing that, and I'm like, that's your song? He goes, yeah. And we were auditioning a drummer and a singer, but they had a bass player already. I'm like, I got a bass player already, and this is my band. So Tony went on a binge, so he only was there for two of the days. of. We had a block, a week block at Audible. So I said, hey... What did you think about that to the bass player guy, that the, their friend? He goes, oh, I think I could do it. And he started playing it. And I'm like, when you play it, it sounds pretty good. So we wrote a song. Within like 20 minutes, we wrote a song. And, it, and it's easy because it's all, he's just doing basically that. But he would do like add you know harmonics and little things bass things things a bass player would do and i'm like yeah that's good but he just he stuck to that basic and that goes through the whole song and the guitar starts off you know So I gotta figure that song out because I haven't played it since like 1987 or 8. Jeez. So there you go. That's it. I'm not gonna play for you. Okay, well, let's play something really quick. Ready? Really quick. <laughs> something really quick for you thank you for watching 50 people of course you know paulo vincent is the only one commenting but thank you very much for doing it at least he does it and uh you know i know this isn't much but i'm busy you should be glad i'm busy because i'm busy on something that everybody's wanting me to do and uh as far as the bootlegs because <clears throat> uh you know who is requesting bootlegs if I don't have them, then those are the ones, the one that you want me to find is the one I don't have. So you wouldn't have it either. That's why it's like, all right, subscribe, comment, metal, later.